happen. There's a whole thing of how they tell you, you know, that the people over there aren't really people. It's not one guy just hasn't been doing it. You know, it's, been, it's pretty much established policy. But the front dude got up and wrapped all the shit to hang him. But they can't deny the testimony of all these dudes in the room. The first day I got to Vietnam, I landed in Da Nang Air Base, got off the plane and hitchhiked on Highway 1 to my new unit, to my unit. I was picked up by a truckload of grunt Marines with two company grade officers, first lieutenants. We were about five miles down the road where there were some Vietnamese children uh, at the gateway of the village and they gave the old finger gesture, gesture at us. Uh, it was uh, understandable that they picked us up from the GIs there. They stopped the truck, they didn't stop the truck, they slowed down a little bit and it was just like response, the guys got up, including the lieutenants, and just blew all the kids away. There was about five or six kids blown away there. And then the truck just moved, uh, continued down the hill. That was my first day in Vietnam. In Quang Tri City, I had a friend who was, uh, he was working with USAID, and uh, one time he asked me would I like to accompany him to watch. He was an advisor with an army group, and he asked me if I would like to accompany him into a village <clears throat> that I was familiar with to see how they act. So I went with them and uh, they didn't find any enemy, but they found a woman with bandages. So she was questioned with about, she was questioned by six Arvins and the way they questioned her was since she had bandages, uh, they, sh they shot her. She was hit about 20 times. So after she was questioned, uh, of course dead, uh, this guy come over who was, and knowing him, uh, he was a former major. He was in the service for 20 years and he, he got hungry again and came back over working with uh, USAID, <laughs> Aid International Development. And uh, he uh, went over there and ripped her clothes off and took a knife and cut from her vagina all the way up, well, just about up to her breast and pulled her organs out completely out of her cavity and threw them out. And then he stopped and knelt over and uh, commenced to peel every bit of skin off her body and left her there as a, as a sign for something or other. In one village, we wounded um, uh, women and kids going into the village. And when we got in there, this was in Tuiwa also, when we got in the village, uh, me and another guy, we were treating uh, two unconscious babies, not babies, but like five, six-year-old kids, and uh, a woman lying in a hammock. And I told the lieutenant, these people have to be evacuated because if they're not evacuated, uh, well, this lady had shrapnel on her, and the uh, kids had shrapnel on them, and they were unconscious. I said, if they're not evacuated, they're going to die. He said, well, forget it, Doc. We don't have time to stay here and wait. We went up on the hill right above this vi same village, and we fired down on this village the next day while people were trying to bury their dead. We fired down on the village at the people while they were doing their uh, burial ceremony, and, we, and, we, and they killed another VC, well, not VC, but another uh, uh, person in the village. Also, um, we went down uh, that, same, that same day to get some water, and there were two little boys playing on a dike, and one sergeant just took us. M16 and shot shot one boy up the dike. The other boy tried to run. He was almost out of sight. This other this other guy, um, Spec 4, he shot this other little boy up the dike. And uh, the little boy was like lying on the ground kicking. So he shot him again to make sure he's dead. Then we went into the village and this um, Papa son there, I, I don't know if he was a village chief or who he was, but he came up to me, came up to us and he was telling us that um, he was making motions a bird you know was flying over and the bird took his shit and the, sh and, and the thing went boom boom and uh he was saying this is how like a lot of people in the village got got hurt 